Okay, let's hear some of your stories. This table is looking particularly empowered. So who has a moment of empowerment that they would like to share? Thank you. Hi, I think that um, the, the moment that sticks out for me, and it's very current, is I'm currently doing some um, distance learning. And it's about um, the um, empowerment you feel with education. And all of a sudden, new concepts um, allow you a deeper insight into current events. Education, key to empowerment for all of us in our lives in every possible way. Other moments. Um, good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. I was just laughing with my um, neighbors here about a trip that I took when I was a child. Um, at a summer camp, I volunteered to go on a backpacking trip, never having done this before, and packed up my 80-pound pack to go into the Rocky Mountains for several days, and then had a crisis of confidence and called my mom and was like, can you just tell them I can't do this? <laughs> The next day, I went on the trip, and I was the first one to make it to the top of the peak, and you know, was felt thrilled, empowered, and then I was laughing at myself and, and saying that the next day, I was the first one up, and I was like, so I'm a backpacker, what about you, and are you guys ready to hit the trail? So it was a particular turning point for me. Thank you. Here. Hello, good morning. I'm Victoria Boachua. A moment I a moment when I first became empowered is the time I came first position in my adult literacy. Thank you. I'll have one more. Hi, um, thank you very much for um, having us. Um, my moment of empowerment was, um, it was kind of a bit of a abandon as well, I suppose. Um, a few years ago, well, a fair few years ago now, I decided to um, emigrate to Australia. Obviously, I came back, but um, <laughs> it was that moment. It was, it, was, it was really fast. It was a fast decision. And leaving Heathrow, just as we were taking off on those wheels, Left the, left the runway, it was like, right, okay, seatbelts on. You know, it was empowering, it was an adventure, and it was excitement. I had no idea where it was going to take me, but it was that moment of everything just lifted. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of you for sharing these moments. I, they're so formative for us in, in our everyday. Um, I don't know that, I certainly don't always reflect upon them, but when I do, uh, in moments such as these, I realize that I actually, I, I could not accomplish the things that I do in my professional life, in my personal life, without these, these moments where I move into some other stage of, of power, as small or as large as that may be. And I'm so grateful to all of you for, for reflecting on what is really a very personal kind of experience. Um, we are, Really, I would like for you to move into the rest of this day reflecting on these two things. One is how special and important chocolate is to us. We cherish it. Right? So in some of your stories, we heard these moments when chocolate was limited or, or even rationed and how that's when we realized just how much we love this food in ways that we do not love other foods. It would be very difficult, I think, for me to ask you uh, to think about your favorite moments around like broccoli or even vanilla, right? And we would not have had the same kind of conversation. But with chocolate, we cherish it. At the same time, we are all empowered in moments of our everyday lives. And um, what, what what I would love for us to move into today thinking about is that women who work in the chocolate industry need to be empowered every day in all of the work that they do. And women who buy chocolate need to know that they can contribute to the empowerment of women across this industry. So with those reflections in mind, I would like to begin our program of speakers. And I thank you all again for your reflections and for your sharing. That was very moving for me. So um, I'll begin with inviting up our speakers. You see the program was distributed to you. And so you can see our order of events for the day. We'll have a session now. 
Um, and then with, with some speakers and Q&A, then we will break for a chocolate tasting, and then we will follow with our second session in the later part of the morning. So uh, I would like to invite up our speakers for the first session. Professor Stephanie Barrientos, Erin Sahan, Melinda Bohannon, and Hazel Cully. <laughs> 